Um, first question is, hey Jess, so I am listening to your last Q&A, and I love how you said use the next two weeks to create and clear, decide what you want to bring into new reality. I find myself working from home still glued to the computer for nine hours, and I ask myself, what is this showing me? It shows me my lack of freedom. I know that you have taught us all this and healing our relationships with me, money, freedom is what I need to do. What advice do you have for someone like me who is doing the work and willing to go deep but is still finding myself hitting a wall? Some of us have kids at home and some of us still don't know what we are good at or called to do. Um, I know we create our own reality. I just not. I'm just not sure how to fully harness that creativity. Hopefully, this question serves others well. Great question. Um, and if you watched the video that I did yesterday, you know, it, it, it. To sum up, just let me let me notice. Let me let me share with you guys what I'm noticing so far, and it'll help you. What I'm noticing so far is that when the critical mass reaches a frequency called surrender, right, the, the, the galactic reset will be in effect. Now, if you guys understand the manifestation training that I've given you over the years, the seventh step of manifestation is surrender. Liz, you are not in surrender yet. Okay, that's okay. You know, you're holding on really, really tight. Any of you guys right now, that are holding on really, 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 really tight to your old parad a paradigm, okay? You're not softening into this experience. This is a gentle softening. This is a cocooning experience for all of us. This is a time for us to safely let go. And if you're not seeing that you're safe to let go, you're holding on to that stale idea. Like you are choosing this. And you have, and we all have free will here. This mass auto reset is, is not as big as your free, your free will. And I need all of you to hear that. It is not bigger than your free will, which means you can hold on to fear. You can hold on to whatever you choose. You can hold on to that job like you're going to you know, run out of time. Now, the universe does not step in with infinite possibility until you have given the universe empty space. Our job right now is to give the universe empty space so that it may fill your life with new opportunities, new experiences, new people, new places. But as long as you're holding on to the old paradigm, and I'm going to tell you guys something that I'm not sharing with a lot of the public right now, but everything is splitting in two. 5D, 3D. 3D is based in people who are terrified of this virus, people who are terrified of other people touching them, terrified of the world going, you know, to hell in a handbag, terrified of the world ending, terrified and fear-based, and it just grows and grows and grows. This is their test right now. Oh, okay, well, good. This is your chronic vibration. Let's put you back into 3D for, you know, another 50, 60 years. And let's, let's, uh, let's let you go through your greatest fears. And let's let you create your greatest scarcity of reality and lack because eventually you will surrender. It's this simple, you guys. And when we reach surrender, and I don't mean like when I say surrender, I don't mean the idea of failure. I mean the idea of allowing time and space. All of you guys should be going back to warrior training right now. There's two important warrior aspects. One is warrior of time and space. We're all using it right now to recalibrate, recollect, redefine, right? Reboot. The other one is warrior of patience. Practice, prepare, play. Practice, prepare, play. I'm going to ask you a really solid question right now. What are you practicing for? What are you preparing for? And how are you playing? Okay? Because if you're practicing your old ideas, okay, you're practicing your old job just the way it was, but now you're working harder because the kids are home and you have no freedom and no aspect, you're being pressurized. You guys, this is a galactic, global test. 
it's a test to see what planet you're going to be on. And I know that's really harsh, but at this point, I'm just letting all of, like all the chips fall. And I'm going to honestly go in my teacher training on Friday and tell them the real story. Um, again, it's path of least resistance. You know, I'm not going to overwhelm you guys with what exactly I know, but I am going to tell you that the backdoor information of this whole project is a global reset and it is designed to pressurize you into surrender. That's why some of you are losing your jobs. Some of you are seeing sick people. Some of you are going through this. Uh, okay. I uh, was just making sure that I wasn't like dropping out. And it is your job to practice, prepare, play. What are you practicing? What are you preparing for? And how are you playing? Because if you just focused on, well, if this is a galactic reset and you know what, I'm just going to go ahead and trust Jess instead of the news, then what do I have to lose? Right? It's like, because the thing is, is it's almost like Noah's Ark at this point. It's like, okay, everybody that's got the vibration of 5D is going to go start in the new world. New money, new time, new freedom, new everything. New world. Now, everybody who is, I'm a terrified to get on a boat. I don't trust where it's going. I don't know anybody. I don't want to be too close to anybody. We'll stay on the shore. And the 3D and I won't say apocalypse because it's not true, but the 3D experience that needs to be had in order to shake the masses. In so you guys have been hearing me teach this for years. You have two journeys in your life. You have the journey through pain and you have the journey through love. You have your journey through suffering that hopefully you master by waking up and being done with suffering. And then you learn the frequencies of the universe. You learn how to manifest. You remember who you are. You use your toolbox and then you begin a life of thriving. Okay. And now you're thriving. You're learning who you are through thrive, right? Over here, you're learning who you are through survive, which are both valid because you are duality. You are here to play both games. But once you've mastered one game, right? It's time for you to move and you're going to move into uncertainty. You guys, nobody has a written future in this moment because no future exists. I think I cried online maybe like four or five years ago saying, you guys, when I'm looking at probabilities, there's none, there's no future realities built. There's nothing existing. We get to create it. We are here to create it. So what are you creating Liz? My question for you is if you're going to hold on so tight because you're afraid to let go, you're going to rip apart your body because if you've ever been holding onto a rope and the gravity is pulling you, you're going to hurt yourself, right? And you're falling, but you don't trust, which means that you don't have faith in the universe yet. You don't have faith that you're going to be divinely taken care of if you let go. Okay. And you're going, well, I have bills to pay and I have this to pay. And I said, okay, the whole entire planet has an effing excuse right now. Everyone on the planet has some form of an excuse right now, whether you're working or not to a let go a little bit, which means even if it's not, it's just not wasting that hour and a half driving your kids to school. Right. Or, you know, it's like you, we all have something and each one of us is individually being tested based in your fear, which means whatever your fear was or is, is going to be tested because we've got to see who you really are, not who you study you are, not who you say you are, but who you really are at the core root of your being is not being judged, but it is being examined. And who is it being examined by you, the bigger part of you, the higher self you. So look, closely at the things that are that, that are that are that are bringing you fear and it's like I said in the last two videos yesterday if you're afraid you guys it's because you're plugged into fear it is that simple on your own when you're not plugged into the fear report or plugged into who's getting sick or plugged into this you don't feel anything you feel the intuition deep inside of you that everything is okay and then you begin to feel that way and then you attract someone to say, oh my gosh, blah, 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 blah. And I could get sick and, you know, I, I'm not going to do that. And, and, and that's okay because, again, you are practicing, preparing, and playing that out. You are being the warrior of patience. You are taking the best opportunity this planet has ever had in its entire existence to be afraid and that is your choice. But I will tell you that this is 
pressurized holding space. The universe is pressurizing you. You don't get diamonds without pressure, okay? So everything about right now is pressuring your fear and asking you surrender, 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 surrender. What is your gut telling you to do? What is your heart telling you to do? You guys, at this point, who really effing cares about our houses and our cars and all of this stuff? The only thing that truly, truly matters is each other and what we're doing. The, the planet is healing right now. I can look outside. I live in a very exclusive neighborhood where everybody is kind of bougie and everyone stays in their house and only on the weekend do they wax their fancy cars. And right now it's 70 degrees in Kansas City and I looked out my window right before I got online and there's a neighborhood packed with people walking their kids in strollers, walking their dogs. Nobody is driving their cars. Nobody is in their fancy houses because none of this matters right now. What matters is that we have time to play outside with our kids. We have time to work on that workshop. We have time to think about if that job is something that we actually want. And if you don't take the time, then you will go and you will act out your fear because once Easter comes, you guys, that's the secret, secret sauce right there. It's all about sacred geometry and it's all about sacred numerology and it's all about sacred astrology right now. Everything is lining up for this global reset. Who do you choose to be? I know I'm going two by two. No bizarre. Let's get on the ship. I don't care where we go. We're all going to be together. It's going to be a big party. You know, it's going to be fun. But I do not want to stay on the land where there's walls and separation and all kinds of conflict. I'd rather get on a boat with all of you guys and sail into the sunset and hope that we hit a new land, which we will. All of the stories are true, you guys. Everything. And it's all happening for us right now. So when you say I'm staring at my computer for nine hours, I'm going to tell you that hurts my heart. That hurts my heart to hear that that you're choosing suffering right now in the greatest gift that the universe has ever given us is an opportunity and an effing excuse to surrender. It is your time to surrender. And that is the only advice that I have. I'm not going to tell you what to do because I don't need to tell you what to do. You already know who you are and it's time for you to step into the light of that. And you know what? If losing everything is your greatest fear, I suggest that all of you guys play the worst case scenario game because fear is locked in darkness. It's in separation. It's, it's hoarded in shadow. But if I turn to it, which I'm light, I'm the observer, I'm the focal point. If I turn to my greatest fears and I go into all the worst, 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 worst case scenarios, and I look at them and I feel them, what I'm doing is I'm bringing light, which breaks up energy. I'm moving emotion, energy in motion. I'm changing my frequency by just acknowledging and accepting that that is a probability and begin in the instant of going all the way into your worst case scenarios, you begin to lighten up. So I would suggest any of you guys who are, first of all, if any of you guys are terrified of dying, hello, it's way better on the other side. So you need to get rid of that one because it does not serve you anymore, right? This is hard work. That utopia, okay? So hopefully none of you have a fear of dying. Now, some of you have a fear of losing people you love. Go into that scenario. Go into that grief. It will actually do a lot of magic for you to go into that grief of losing someone so that you can just process the purge and cry out your tears because you can't ever lose anyone because no one ever dies. Energy transits form. So they're actually closer to you on the other side than they are here. With They don't have an ego. They don't have any judgment. They just love you unconditionally. And it's your job to raise your vibration to get in contact with them. That's your job. Eyes on your own paper. Right? You're afraid of losing your job? I want you to really look at that job. Okay, I want you to really look at your job and go, if I was in 5D in the new earth, would this be the job that I want? No, I don't think so. I surrender. Whatever happens, happens, right? I'm gonna look at my assets. Let's liquidate a little bit. Let's play. Let's practice. Let's prepare because you are creating your own, your own reality. And you said in that question that you believe that.
So I'm gonna hold you to that belief, okay? All right, 